Action. Action. Hey, fella. <laughs> you already broke character, <laughs> Lee. What the hell? We're burning film, man. Stan Lee has passed away at the age of 95. On your IMD brief, we chronicle a real life superhero who revolutionized comic books, film, and pop culture. From an early age, Stanley Martin Lieber dreamed of writing the great American novel, but first found work writing obituaries. His uncle helped him get an assistant gig at Timely Comics, and within two years, his writing debuted in Captain America Comics number three. Oh man, I am so fired. Embarrassed by the public's lowly perception of his profession, Stanley Lieber took the pen name Stan Lee as he honed his writing skills. In 1961, when he teamed with artist Jack Kirby to create the Fantastic Four, Lee finally found his hit. How does it make me feel? Nice. The Fantastic Four revolutionized comic book narratives because these superheroes had human flaws and were given to anger and sadness, just like real people. Lee had touched a nerve, so he swung into action to co-create with Kirby and other artists, Hulk, Black Panther, Thor, Iron Man, the X-Men, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man. You're definitely not the same guy I've been writing about all these years. Well, Stan, we all have to grow up sometime, I suppose. With his Marvel method of roughly plotting comic book storylines and allowing the artists to fill in the gaps, Lee launched a conveyor belt approach that would see Marvel Comics explode with a constant parade of new issues and new heroes. This created the strong foundation that kept Marvel Comics afloat for nearly 60 years and formed the backbone of superheroes that make up the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And those films would have never been possible had it not been for Stan Lee preaching comic books' good word throughout a period of time when they were considered kid stuff and a lower form of art. This man couldn't read a real book. He still can't, but give him a comic book. At San Diego Comic-Con 2017, Kevin Smith praised Lee for becoming an ambassador for the art spreading it far beyond its current reach, and in a way for creating the community that can be found at every national fandom convention. I thought you were going to talk about the magnificence of the stuff I used to write. All you're talking about is I was a huckster, then I walked out and <laughs> uh, Thank you very much. IMDb also honored Lee for his 700 IMDb credits and counting, including numerous cameos in the MCU, which have consistently kept his name in our hearts and minds and will for years to come. Is this the first one you've made? The first one, Stan, well, especially for you. Uh, how do I pay you not to make any more? I'd like to. <laughs> Kevin Smith, who featured Lee in his 1995 film Mallrats, also took the opportunity to rehearse a scene for his upcoming Jay and Silent Bob reboot, a joyous little bit that will most likely only exist in this form. But your role is bigger than mine. You act, you go like this, you go like that. I'm just standing looking at you. Trust me, I'm gonna write you some I more I don't lines. trust you. No, you have to trust me on this one. Thank you, Stan Lee, for being a real life superhero. Your amazing, incredible, uncanny, and nearly invincible story helped us all find the heroes within ourselves.